Is that? I think we're good. Hey, everybody. Let's see. This is, we're now live streaming. Hey, everybody. This is Marianne Bailey with the Hip Senior. And today we are live and we're visiting um, Chesterwood Village. It's part of the Hillendale communities. And we're with Diane Beal. Diane, hi. Welcome to the channel. Nice to meet you. Hi. Thank you. And welcome to Chesterwood, everyone. So excited that I finally get to see. I haven't seen it in person. So, and I know that there's people that have not seen it in person as well. And you guys are kind of on lockdown. So I thought we'd give people the community, the chance to see your beautiful community and learn a little bit more about it and how they can get involved. Thank you. So I am the community director here that does the admissions for all of the independent living and assisted living. There's many residents who still um, participate in some activity here on our main street. So I have to stay with mask and goggles. So if someone can't hear me, you'll have to speak up for them and I will uh, repeat what I said. But here, right now, so. <laughs> great. here at Chesterwood on Tylersville Road, we are conveniently located uh, to many stores and restaurants, banks, access to the highway to get downtown for functions and so forth. But we are a retirement community with um, all kinds of levels of care from independent living, patio homes and apartments to assisted living and memory care assisted. And then we also have full nursing care and short-term rehab. Now, Becca, so, we should mention that that you're in Mason, right? Mason, Ohio. We're in Westchester, actually. Westchester, sorry. Very close, but we're in Westchester. So Chesterwood Village in Westchester, Ohio. Okay, got it. Sorry about that. Oh, we, that's okay. We have people that watch nationwide, so I want to make sure they knew what state we were watching in. <laughs> yes. So we are in Westchester, Ohio, and we are family-owned and operated since 1962. So we may even pass an owner walking by here. They are um, on site every day working just as hard as everyone else. So I'm going to take you on a little tour. And uh, if you follow me, we're, we're adjacent to our front doors. And here is our chapel where I know things have changed with, like, as you mentioned, a lot of people are in lockdown. So we have improvised and we have many activities that we have been able to house in other areas of the building or live on um, some TV screens or uh, pre-recorded that uh, they can watch on their TV. But we do have a chapel and uh, we have non-denominational and Catholic services um, every week for the residents of the entire campus. And just depending on where things are located in our building, if we cannot congregate together, we have services that go on in the assisted living area for them and we have services and independent for them. So. Through these doors, we're actually going to open them and take you through for a peek into the assisted living. Normally, these doors would always be propped open. I want to take you inside today to Ashley, to Ashley Place, our assisted living. This continues our, our main street as well. We have a pet shop. Birds are saying hello, but we've got um, birds and um, fish and rabbits, you know, awesome. hamsters, you name it. <laughs> So that's more for the nostalgia of having a pet shop on Main Street. And then over here, we have an ice cream parlor. And typically, um, when everything is up and running, we have free ice cream socials for anyone. The families uh, come in and visit their residents typically and on Tuesdays and Fridays from 1.30 to 2.30, we, it's a big social. And family, staff, residents are all gathered together. Now things are a little bit different, but we can't wait for one day to, to open back up and, and we'll have some regular activity. This is a big grand lobby here with a baby grand piano that is part of our assisted living. Ashley Place is the name of our assisted living. We have 81 apartments here now. Wow. This features one of our dining areas off to the side here. Um, all of their meals are provided in assisted living. There is a nurse 24-7, aides 24-7. They have emergency pendants that they wear. They can push to summons help 24-7. So there's um, a lot of care and a lot of uh, activity going on here in assisted living. So are you now with COVID right now, are you guys accepting patients into? Um, we are. We are accepting residents. So anyone can call and get all those details from either myself or Jane Gegner, our marketing director, or Kelly Gessick, our um, long-term care coordinator. We can give you the details on how to get into our uh, independent, assisted, nursing, and rehab. We're taking 
uh, residents every day. Now we, um, I just went brain dead. <laughs> keep on with your tour. <laughs> okay, I'll keep going. So as you can see, we can go down the hallways. This is what we call our traditional assisted living. Uh, we started out with this area with 45 apartments, and then we moved um, to, we want to show, oh, we're not going all the way down the hall, sorry. We, we actually expanded in February, and we opened 36 more apartments. So we have a total of 81, and then, lovely, COVID um, shut our doors for a while. So we have not been... Um, able to do a lot of, we can't do tours personally with families, but we do this, we do the FaceTimes where if anyone wants to contact us, we would be happy to take you in and out of the nooks and uh, corners of every deep, every corner of the building. We can take you into the apartments. We can show you the different styles. We have studios and one bedroom apartments. And then you bring all of your own furniture so you can make it as cozy and homey as you had it at home. Right. Can families help move their, their loved one in themselves? And typically, yes. Right now, no. Um, but we, they are very involved, uh, giving us diagrams. We FaceTime with them. We, um, we have them up at the windows and they'll tell us where to place furniture and that sort of thing. But uh, until they can enter the building for the resident safety, uh, we do all the work ourselves. So between our admissions team and our maintenance and housekeeping, we take care of the whole group. Now, do you guys have any um, any visitation things like outside set up right now for people to come visit or anything? Absolutely, any? absolutely. And just like the governor's orders for everyone in assisted living, we, we have our visits that um, we take their temperature and mask and um, Oh, pardon us, we can come through. Someone I want to point out, this is good yes. for running into Craig. It almost looks like this is Craig. Hi, Craig. How are you? I hit seniors, but we are we are proud to have Craig. He has a lot of um, fitness classes and wellness training tips and uh, walking groups, strength training. Um, and I make it for his specific back into the school, but you know, where it's very purposeful to have a good quality of life. So that's the one thing I did behind our fitness program here. Nice, nice. Well, it's nice to meet you. Yep, same here. Thanks, You'll take thanks, care. Craig. You never know here to run into here. Yeah, Literally, man. I ran into it. <laughs> <laughs> so what is that? You know, I asked Kelly the other day in a, in a talk with I had of her on the second story up there. Is that anything up there? Is that just looks? So what you see right here, these windows, <laughs> if you were to take the elevator that's down in the independent apartments up to the second floor, you can sit in the balcony of the movie theater um, or further down where we're, we're going to see it is a lounge area and they have a billiards area, um, poker tables, card tables, things like that, big screen TV, fireplace. This area are actually, um, it's an extension. It's like a um, high grade ceiling and here there's a stage that I'm going to show you in O Smiley's. It's one big happy pub called O Smiley's. We have root beer on tap and we have um, coffee, of uh, coffee, tea, cocoa available for families and residents. So as you come in here, you're going to see it's O Smiley's. Kelly's doing awesome. Uh -huh. We're carrying a computer backwards. Okay, so we enter in here. And this is where we typically would have live entertainment every Friday and Saturday night. But if you come in here, this is what you were asking about. Is something yeah. up there? It's actually the ceiling inside the pub. Okay. That's so they're, they're kind of dummy windows in there. But then there's a big screen TV and a fireplace in here. And people gather in here uh, for their coffee and new fellowship. And then there's root beer on tap. And then there's a coffee station over here. And we do have signs posted reminding people of the social distancing and keeping their activities to one, keeping their activities to one person per table for safety right, right. now. That, that, can I come live there? I know. It, this is, we always coin it like when we're on a tour that this is like our cruise ship on land. There's so many things to go do, yet you sit down in one of the areas. So assisted living is on one end of Main Street and independent living's on the other end and Main Street's in the middle. So it's a 
great way for people in assisted living to be getting the care they need and then still socialize with their friends that are an independent that maybe haven't needed that level of care yet. Over here, we have what's called um, sneakers. It's, I don't know if you can, yeah, you can see one of the signs. We have the lights off right now because it joins into another area that we have to keep closed off because of COVID, but um, sneakers where the heart meets the soul. So that's a workout area that typically we have the gym open. You have treadmills and recumbent bikes and you have some free weights and you've got um, like nautical type equipment that people can work out on. And we have physical and occupational therapy on site. So our residents can get a script from their doctor as well and do therapy. Nice. That's um, really convenient for them, I'm sure, instead of having to go out. Yes, this is our Monarch Theater. Nice. So this is, we have an actual movie theater that we built in here. And uh, typically we would have um, movies every day at two o'clock and again at six o'clock, a different movie every day. So the residents from all over the campus and their families would come and gather for movies. So to improvise right now, we actually have them on a um, in-house station that we will televise movies that they can watch if they're in the building in the independent apartments or assisted. So they still get that movie experience. They just can't be gathered in the movie theater as of right now. Okay. Has, is there any word as to when, I, I think if they're just playing it kind of day by day as to when they're going to be. Yep, able to I think we're just like everyone else. We just wait and yeah. get our word from the higher up and then we follow the governor and CDC's rules and regulations. How are the seniors, hey, how are the seniors handling not being able to do these things right now? Is I'm sure it's, they're mourning a loss of some of their activities. Um, we are trying to keep our activity schedules as close as we can to how they used to be. We just have to have smaller groups or individualized of what we used to do. Um, clearly we don't have any live entertainment. We're very fortunate. We have some talented musicians living here. So we have one gentleman who, loves to play um, on the baby grand piano. And um, so people socially distance, but gather around him. And then we are fortunate also to have, we have a putting green on one of our internal courtyards. So outside one of the offices, I will sometimes see people out on the putting green um, by the waterfall out there and getting sunshine. So we have three beautiful courtyards that they go out into. So one, they're getting outside and they get sunshine. Um, they have the family visits that you and I mentioned um, weekly and that they can be outside for at least 45 minutes with their families. And then we have a structured building that is very unique, as you can see, that there's a lot of areas with big glass doors that are in each area. The residents are able to go up to these areas and then see their family right outside and do their window visits, as you see a lot of facilities are doing. So it's not just in their room. It's getting them out of their apartment as well. So they don't have to just talk to their family through their apartment window. Right. But our independent living apartments, um, which we're going to see here in a second, will be turned around on Main Street and be able to see where we enter into those. Our independent are able to leave with their families and come back. They, everyone has to be masked here on Main Street and keep socially distanced. But the residents can come and go now on the independent. Assisted living are still uh, relying on their weekly visits with their families. Outside. Okay. Structured, yeah. The place so, looks awesome. I want to come live on Main Street and just be your computer tutor, you know? I'll just yeah, I, I, I feel bad when people say, oh, I have to go to work. And I always go, I get to go to work. Right. And I've worked here for 14 years. So it, it doesn't get old. This is a lot of fun here. This is our beauty salon. So this is up and running again. Um, poor Nicole, our <laughs> musician, she can only take what, one person every two hours. Like she's got a segmented schedule, so she can keep everything safe and make sure all her services are done, sanitized, and then bring in the next one. So it's scheduled out pretty far. But this is Nicole. She's been here. Hello. As long as I've been here, fourteen years. What's going on? And uh, they do manicures, pedicures, full hair service, lip tinting, out, eyebrow waxing. So the residents are still fun in here and staying beautiful. Nice, nice. I'm so impressed. It's such a nice place. Everybody told me that I was going to love it. but. <laughs> and then in here, um, this is Jimmy's Cafe. You can see a sign up here that it is a uh, little cafe that we have. Unfortunately, we haven't been able. There we go. Fortunately, we have not been able to have it open where people can come and congregate with their families. We are using the dining 
uh, area for some activity purposes. And we're hoping to unveil our dining room again and get people eating in the dining room soon. Uh, this is actually located in our independent living area. Our independent get one meal every day provided in their rent. Assisted living gets all three meals and then they've got their own areas where they have their dining experience. Okay. That makes sense. So the cafe um, is open to the public when we don't have COVID on our back. Um, so that was pre-March. And right. then inside here, we'll walk a little faster so Kelly doesn't get hit by a door. In here, it's a neat experience that it feels like you're inside of a little um, diner over here. The lights are actually out. And then inside here, like you're outside of a cafe and then a nice. form, and then a more formal area called Ember Woods for dining. So it's three different ambiances, but same menu. So it's a lot of fun. Again, it's our cruise ship fun one. Yes. That is so, so nice. Yeah, it's a little bit. They're okay. Okay. So then if you follow me, we're almost done with Main Street. The um, movie theater, as I mentioned, is the back door to it is over here. Ventured into like the lobby area of oh wow now what's nice is that all of the paintings in this octangular room were um, all painted by residents of the I'm guessing internet's not as great in that room. <laughs> oh I heard you say that, but I don't know if I cut out, so I didn't know that. And tell me, are we back up okay? Yeah, I didn't hear what you said about the paintings in the room. Uh, they are all done by residents who have lived here. Okay. So we have their artwork displayed in that area. And then here, yeah. we're in the independent living apartments. So the hallways, you will see once you are um, going down the hallway, at least about four or five rooms down, you're going to see a living room. And on every floor, that's three floors, the independent apartments, it's a different decor. So you could go to the second floor and go sit in a different living room, um, like a little lounge area. And then down this hallway, you'll find the lounges in the same spots in every hallway. They just have different decor. So um, the elevator behind me actually takes it up to the second or third floor. And on the second floor, would be able to go to the balcony of the movie theater and then on the second floor floor excuse me directly above this fountain is a pool table slot machines lounge area um poker tables big screen tv fireplace so a cool game room and then oh, sorry you might see that on my screen i don't know if you saw that but everyone saw my appointment very busy and no, then on the no. Oh, okay. And then on the third floor is a craft and activity room. A couple of our contractors coming through, Hi, Hello, Doug and Johnny. <laughs> so there we have our independent and assisted living areas here at Chesterwood Village. In independent apartments, I have 50 total apartments and uh, we have one bedroom and two bedrooms available now. So if anyone needs more details on that, they can call and we are month to month rental in our entire facility. We could have 50 foot patio. And now, then, one bedroom and two bedrooms. What would be a scenario where people would have two bedrooms? Um, for a two bedroom independent living, I have definitely a lot of husbands and wives moving in together. I've had uh, two sisters moving in together that wanted okay. to um, have their own separate rooms and separate sure. bathrooms. We can actually that's a yeah. That's nice. That's yeah. nice for you guys to be able to offer it like that. And then the, then the um. Oh, I'm sorry. We're at the computer. You guys are not looking like your motion. There we go. That the um, two bedroom apartments are nice to somebody coming from a larger home. And I have a majority of my two bedroom apartment is just one person living in them. Okay, they so just want the space because the two bedroom apartments are 1,025 square feet and full okay. kitchens. All the independent living have their own um, full kitchens and washers and dryers and two full bathrooms. Wow, that's really nice. 
Well, I can't wait for you guys to be, I, I can't wait for COVID to go away, period. That's all. I'm sure you guys definitely feel it. Um, I'm used to being in people's homes, being able to teach and being able out into going into institutions like yours and being able to work with seniors and teach them how to use technology. And so um, having to do it all over Zoom, I'm definitely missing that personal one-on-one -on -one interaction with people. But I'm grateful that we have Zoom and we can be able to, to do that and be able to tour your beautiful um, establishment there. It's it's absolutely gorgeous. And like I said, I'm, I'm just the ability to be able to go to work th there every day would be like going on a cruise ship, like you said. <laughs> very lucky, yeah. But, um, you know, our owners, part of the family, they're builders by trade. So they do this all. Our president, Greg Dixon, he is normally our general contractor for all of our building projects. So it, they're just a, uh, amazing. It is a great place to reside. And apparently to work, right? Yes, and to work, <laughs> yes. yes. I think all of you guys need raises after all of this, right? Oh my gosh, it's just been so unique. Such a, can't really put our finger on what it really has been. <laughs> it's been a very unprecedented time, that's for sure. Yeah. Um, my, I, like I, I told you, Kelly, my mom worked as a nurse in a um, senior home um, as I, while I was growing up. And, you know, I was always in the halls talking to people and visiting with them and stuff. And so um, if that was now, I would definitely be missing that interaction as well. So I'm yeah. glad that you guys are taking such good care of people and doing the precautions that, that need to be done. And um, I hope a lot of people uh, see um, this video and are able to um, contact you guys and maybe make a decision as that's where it'd be best for their loved ones to live. Thank you. We appreciate the opportunity for sure. Thank you so much. Absolutely. You guys have a wonderful yeah. day. Okay. Thank, Thank you. you. Thanks, Marianne. Take All care. Right. Take care. Bye. Bye.